what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm talking about scream 6 in this video primarily here today but before i get to that i wanted to share some updates on maxine and chucky season 3 and someone who will not be returning now just to start off with maxine M mia goth had these recent comments to say about maxine which is currently filming she said this with sfx magazine recently she said i see maxine as a superhero movie that's how I read the script. Maxine as a character has come a long way. She's a survivor. She's gone through a lot. When we meet her again in this new world that she's in, she's really fought for everything that she has and she's not about to give that up. She's going to fight for what she has. She's a badass. There's a strength to her and she's a really proactive, determined, focused woman. She goes after what she wants and she's not really going to take no for an answer. Now, those are some cool things to note about Mia Goff's take on the story that she read for Maxine, which again is currently filming. There have been some very cool behind the scenes images that have been revealed online for us to speculate on in regards to what could be happening in them, of course, and how this could or not pertain to the story that's about to unfold in the movie. One in particular seems to indicate to me anyway that Maxine is going to attempt to reconnect with her father. Uh, there's something of the character walking into what looks like a Sunday service occurring and we know at the end of X it was revealed that the preacher we kept seeing on the TV was actually connected to Maxine's character. So could she be going to make amends with her father? Maybe that does not go well. And the other thing I thought was cool was how her look in these images seem to indicate or kind of call back to a line we heard in Pearl when Pearl was going through her audition where they were like we're looking for something a little bit more blonde something more all-american and now literally here is Maxine probably doing what Pearl should have done to get ahead not that you shouldn't love yourself for who you are but going with the context of what was being done to Pearl the last time this obviously is a callback to that moment in Pearl. I just don't see it as anything else but that. Now, Devin Sawa has let it be known that he will not be returning for Chucky season three. He said in a now deleted tweet that he won't be guesting he wanted to, but they had other plans. Now, this man has died three times by Chucky already, so I'm actually glad it's not going to become a gag. However, he did delete the tweet. So was he just trolling? Time will tell because he could have been putting out a tweet just to poke at the people who don't like him returning. He could still return. Devin's contributions to the horror genre will always be appreciated by me, but I'm good on seeing him in any other Chucky seasons after this. He's brought three characters to life so far, which have all died. Season three is going for a more serious approach, hopefully, and Devin returning once again so fast wouldn't be very serious if you ask me. But you guys can let me know if you care or not whether Devin will be back one way or another do you want him back why or why not jumping into scream six now a month ago or so tyler gillette had actually shared a very interesting tidbit with the real blend when talking about a deleted scene related to gail weathers that would have shown her recovering in the hospital and she would have gotten a monologue of sorts i guess he said at one point we had a monologue for her that she was delivering from a hospital bed, but it felt sort of like a hat on a hat and was clouding that moment of the end really being about the Carpenter sisters, but she was never on the chopping block for us. Now, my thing is, should they have included this? Should they have not included this? Given that the context of what was included in this monologue weren't revealed here, if you know what was in this monologue, chime in down below because I haven't been able to locate anywhere where they might have gone into any real specifics about this monologue. If the monologue, let's say, had any type of positive impact on the idea that they've regressed and backtracked on her character, if that could have helped that narrative die down, then yes, you should have kept it. Now, if the monologue was m just more of something that was just her having a Gail Weathers moment, then I guess, yes, leave that out. Without knowing complete context of it, I don't know if this monologue would have been worth keeping in or not. But I will say this, the fact that they did not show Gail anymore after what happened to her definitely did, I know, sell her fate or her supposed death a lot stronger to some audience members than others. Some people like myself and many of you who already had a doubt that they were going to kill another legacy character back to back probably already felt as though that Gail was safe. Despite not getting that told to you until the end of the movie, you already knew that Gail Weathers would end up alive. But some people, because they decided to not show her anymore after that attack, they got a very much so hopefully welcome sigh of relief 
when Danny shows up after all the killers have been murdered and he's like, Gail and Mindy are going to pull through. Now, Mindy, we know, shows up at the crime scene later on. I don't know why she's there. She should have been still in surgery, I would imagine. <laughs> she's running as if nothing has happened, but that's just one of the many things in the movie that are requiring you to suspend your disbelief. But with Gail not appearing, I thought that that was the appropriate thing to do. Gail Weathers is somebody who means a lot to people like myself and many of you who grew up with those original three movies. You got excited for Scream 4 when that was announced after believing for so long that those three movies will forever be a trilogy. We got to see her nearly die in Scream 4. I think the mistake Scream 4 might have made if it was wanting to go for something more emotionally charged with that moment and her attack in that barn was the fact that we saw her shortly after the attack. And it's like, OK, well, there goes that. I mean, also, at the same time, she was still talking when Dewey was with her. But if we didn't see her again, you could have had it dangled up in the air. Well, did she die or not? I mean, they confirmed it so fast right away by us seeing her in the hospital. So if they would have shown her in the hospital again in Scream 6, I'd have been like, that's a little too similar to Scream 4 to me. But again, given the context of this monologue, it might have been necessary. This monologue could have been about her expressing who was she talking to was she talking to herself also there's so many questions i have about this monologue that she was having was she just talking to herself uh was she talking to mindy and even with mindy i feel as though there might have been a deleted scene with mindy mindy just shows up saying oh i know who the killers are it's ethan and bailey what happened that made you figure that out i will say this somebody actually did tell me that at one point there was a scene in this movie where Mindy is shown in the hospital realizing that Ethan and Bailey were the killers. However, I don't know if that scene actually was shot or not because we don't see that in the final cut. We do see her actually, though, say that she seemed to have realized this in her hospital bed that they were the killers. What was it that went on that made you realize this? Maybe that'll be one of the deleted scenes that we have in the coming weeks or actually the coming days because the digital release is right around the corner maybe we'll see gail's monologue as a deleted scene if they shot that or not but again given what the context of this monologue might have been them deleting it might not have been that big of a deal you guys can let me know what you think about this supposed monologue down in the comment section below what do you think the contents of it would have been if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video